Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Minister, Senator, the Honorable Mr. Hayes Bay, um, the Chief Agricultural Officer, PS, um, other dignitaries here, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me thank Mr. Bayer for his invitation for me to serve once again on the Committee of Evaluators for this exercise. He detailed the names of the committee, so I don't have to go into that. And we were tasked with conducting an evaluation of the departmental pages of the ministry's website and to write them in accordance with the evaluation guide that was developed by Future Shop and modified by Mr. Bayer. The guide was essentially the same that was used last year. As usual, it allowed for the focus evaluation of the following aspects of the department, departmental websites using the standardized point system that took into consideration the following factors. The navigational functionality and clarity of the pages, the integrity of the links in the pages, the design of the pages, the general layout, the use of space, the appropriateness, placement, and impact of the graphics in the pages, the aesthetics of the pages, and the professionalism or otherwise of its appearance. The purpose of the web pages, as indicated by specific missions or goals, the message and its expression, the usefulness and quality of content, the clarity of grammar and use of language, articulation of technical concepts, spelling, punctuation, and so on, absence of duplication and repetition, attention to detail, and professionalism and overall, overall site effectiveness and a reason for return. Um, one can easily look at a page and decide, that, okay, it doesn't really make sense to return to this because it isn't giving me any reason for return. So we looked at reason, what we thought overall was a reason for return. The results of the individual evaluations by the other team members were emailed to me for compilation. And the final results were based on a simple mathematical percentage comp compilation of the individual scores from the evaluators. Now what I'm about to say may appear to be stressing the negative aspects of some of the web pages. Let me say that it is some of the web pages that I'm talking about. I think that the majority of the web pages will compare uh, very well with web pages, not the majority, the, the 10 or so um, of the web pages. But some of the others, there is still quite a lot of work to be done. And we are being a bit negative in the hope that this might uh, give the ones which have not quite come up to the scratch uh, some future shock that will shake them <laughs> up and doing a lot better uh, next year. Our evaluation suggests that while the quality of a few web pages have improved this year, the overall quality of the ministry's departmental pages has dropped, which continues a trend which was observed last year. The top eight or so web pages have been maintained at a pretty high level with good content, generally attractive layouts, and provision of scope for interaction with the general public. It again appears that with few exceptions, however, that the officers tasked with maintaining the departmental web pages had many competing calls on their time, and so were able to devote only a small fraction of their time to the effort of researching, selecting, and formatting the information to be posted, searching for innovations and other web pages to emulate, and generally improving the various aspects of the site. As I said, this refers to um, some of the web pages, not the, the, the very good ones. In several of these sites, there would appear to have been little effort made to entice visitors to come back. Amongst the top web pages, there were two departments that appear to have made a concerted effort to aim for excellence, to be really at the forefront of things. 
Um, some others rested on the laurels they had won over the past few years and were overtaken in the rankings. Um, the quality, again, of the lower ranking web pages has some room for improvement, given that this exercise has been going on for the past well, five years now. And this appears so, especially when it is realized that the web pages can be a very important tool for interaction between the ministry and the public and can significantly enhance the image of the ministry at home and abroad. For example, with a few exceptions, it seems that not much advantage was taken of the work that would have gone into the recent exhibition. I think the presentations made um, earlier today showed some of those, those exceptions. And at the agricultural exhibition this year, the departments generally made an excellent showing. And that this, if there was enough time available, they could have ported um, some of the data given to the web pages to provide more information to the public. In addition, when we looked at the news items um, and the dates on some of the news items, it appeared as if um, quite a few of the departments had left their um, news items outdated. Right? I noticed uh, in some of the presentations today that when I looked at the web page, um, there were improvements in, um, probably over the past two or three, three days. Right? So that um, some of the things that I've seen here um, is not currently true in that there have been improvements in some of the, the web pages over the past few days. There was a disturbing factor in that one or two of the web pages are still inaccessible to the public, um, that you have to use a password to get it, right? And this was so from the beginning. Every year, without fail, there were a few web pages which um, obviously had not been, been maintained. Although the overall scores were generally lower this year than in previous years, for, and, and I think that is probably a factor of our becoming jaded um, in terms of the evaluation. We, we're accustomed to seeing um, the various sites, seeing the similar things on the sites, and that um, what particularly probably moved us was some of the newer sites, which had some improved and different uh, information on their web pages. But um, there were four departments that ranked higher overall this year than they did last year, suggesting that those departments have tried to do better this year. Um, the evaluators had expected that there would be incremental and consistent improvements in the better web pages, and that was indeed so in some. And that some of the ones which had not done so well in previous years would have seen the examples of the front runners and at least try to emulate them. But this, in uh, quite a few of the lower place um, web pages, did not seem to have happened. There therefore appears to be an urgent need to look at the ways and staff accommodations that will allow these departments to do the basic work that will improve their web pages significantly, as well as to maintain them. Um, I think uh, you all remember that the Chief Agricultural Officer indicated that um, the information is the currency of a technical ministry, like the Ministry of Agriculture. And web pages are therefore of great importance in this regard.